Peggy Toe. I'm back this time with the finale for my spring Bath and Body Works Use Up Challenge for 2023. I'm in front of the camera today because I feel like I don't have enough left to warrant not being in front of the camera. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about my progress, about how things ended up. Tomorrow you will see my intro for my summer Use It Up Challenge. And so yeah, it'll be a good month between um, beginning my summer challenge, Bath and Body Works, like so my annual sale hauling, empties, etc. So I'll talk more about that at the end, but just know that it is coming up. Um, and if you're a Bath and Body Works person and you're new to my channel, thanks for joining me here today. Definitely subscribe if you're into Bath and Body Works content because that's most of what I bring to you guys. So without further ado, let's get into what I did not finish up for my spring challenge. Um, I will say though that I did start with 40 products. I brought in one hand soap for Easter. So ultimately I challenged myself to use up 41 items and I have two left. So I have a lotion in Honeysuckle and Peach Spritz. Keynotes are Honeysuckle Blooms, Juicy Peaches, and Orange Zest. And I also have a, uh, a pocket back in Pineapple Prosecco. So this is not shocking to me that this is what I wound up um, still having in the end. You guys know from watching my channel this year that I have been a little bit slow through lotions. I have picked up the pace a little bit in May, but not so much that I was able to get through um, another full size lotion and same thing with my pocket bags. Again, I'm picking up my pace a little bit with them and I have used a little bit of this pineapple Prosecco. Like this is brand new, but this is used up a little bit, but you know, definitely not enough for me to go ahead and use up by the end of the month. Like that's definitely not happening. So, um, I feel like both of these are also good for the summer. So you'll find tomorrow that when I start my summer Bath and Body Works use up challenge. And when I like dig into my intro tomorrow, you'll find that both of these will be included in that challenge. So um, I'm gonna use this up probably toward the beginning of summer, actually really both of these, because when I carry them over, I tend to not want to hang on to them. Like I'm ready to use it up. Um, so yeah, you'll definitely see those hopefully in my June MDs. That would be ideal, but we'll see how we go because June will be a bit of a hectic month for me. So again, just one pocket back and one lotion. I can definitely live with that considering all the other products that I wanted to use up. Um, overall, I've done an okay job with purchasing. I don't know that I purchased a lotion since semi-annual sale back in January. I purchased some pocket bags, but only because this was my last one that was not a fresh balsam. So um, yeah, I'm really glad that at least, even though I have these things left over, I have not purchased any lotions and I only purchased five pocket bags. So I can definitely live with that um, in terms of what I'm bringing into um, my collection. So again, 41 products, ultimately down to two. I can absolutely 100% live with that. Even though I do have some products left, and again, even though I do have some work to do with picking up the pace with my pocket bags and with my lotions, I can certainly be okay um, with how that wound up. So as always, thank you for following me on my um, Use It Up journey. You guys know that now it's become a fixture on my channel. So if you're into Bath and Body Works, if you're into Use it Up challenges or Project Pants or whatever, definitely stick around. Um, also in June, I'll have my empties like I always do. Um, I'll be shopping in this in my annual sale. So lots of good Bath and Body Works content coming up in June. I will say that June will be a little bit hectic for me. So I have this today. I'll have my intro for my summer challenge tomorrow, but I will say that my empties and any SAS hauling will be a little bit delayed just because the first half of June, um, I'll be traveling uh, internationally for a little bit and also I'm moving. So I do have boxes behind me. That's because Jake and I recently bought our first house. Um, so we are moving uh, pretty much right after we get back from vacation. So it's gonna be really hectic, bear with me, but I will have a really solid empties for May and I will have some pretty good SAS hauling. So definitely stick around. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Lifting and Lipstick. I'll put that down below and I'll see you tomorrow for my summer intro. I'll see you there. Bye.